Hello everybody and welcome back to Bizarre Repairs and Reviews. So on today's video I got something I've been wanting for a long long time. The Flipper Zero Electric Pet Toy. This thing is a portable multi-tool for pen testers and geeks in a toy-like body. It loves hacking digital stuff such as radio protocols, access control systems, hardware, and more. It's fully open source, customizable, so you can extend it whatever way you like. <sighs> yeah, that was a lot. And warning, this device is for educational use only. Please use it on your own devices. Okay, so with that said, this bad boy, I've been wanting this thing for a long time. So this is just some of the features there. Sub gigahertz, RFID, NFC, I button, GPIO, infrared sensors. You can use this thing for a multitude of different things. And yeah, it could be considered a hacking device. But you know what? I'm going to use it for my own stuff. So let's get this thing unboxed. We're going to check it out. We're going to place an SD card in it and then update the firmware. That's what I'm going to do on this video. And uh, then I'll play around with it and I'll do some future videos of me actually uh, getting into some things. I already have a couple ideas of some videos I want to film. So, right out the box, we got a sticker. And I got to say, I love these. I love putting them on my laptop. So, Flipper Zero, that's great. Thanks for supplying that. Now we have our really cool looking manual. I got to say, the marketing on this thing is fantastic. Really, really looks really cool makes you wanna buy one for power we have USB-C that is great I do not like micro USB everything at this point should be USB-C and this one has it so fantastic let me get the camera zoomed in alright now let's see give me the flipper I want the flipper so let's open up this phone uh, this little foam here and I gotta say the packaging is fantastic too really cool gives you that 1980s nostalgia video game kind of look. Wow, and that thing's heavier than I thought. So yeah, it's definitely got a lot of things packed into it. So I'm just going to list some of the features this thing has because it's got a boatload of different things. So just some of the features. It has a 1.4 inch monochrome LSD display. Infrared transceiver for controlling uh, TV and uh, monitors. GPIO pins. USB Type-C like I stated earlier. Micro SD card slot. Sub gigahertz transceiver, 125 RFID kilohertz, uh, NFC, Bluetooth for your apps, and the I button. So, yeah, a whole bunch of things. I'm not even going to get into all those on the video today, but uh, let's go ahead and power it on. So, you just hold that little button there. Hey, mate, press the right button to continue. So, you have it's really simple. You got top, left, uh, top, down, left, and right buttons, and a button in the middle to access the settings. And you have this little cool old dolphin character here that you can actually name and customize and do all kinds of things. It even has a mood with it, which is freaking awesome. And as you can see, I need an SD card. Now, they say you don't really need one to use the device, but, I mean, I think you do for... I mean, you can, you can get away with some basic things, but uh, you're going to need one. And they recommend a 16 to a 32 gigabyte, so that's what I'll be installing. Just going through some of the menus here, lock, set, pin, you have dumb mode. Um, there's all kinds of uh, settings and features in here. It also needs a firmware update, which we'll be doing in a minute. Just checking some more of the settings here. All right, back to needing an SD card. So that's what we're going to do right now. So when I placed in my SD card, I, I had uh, a little bit of data on it that was partitioned, so it didn't, um, it wasn't able to format right away, so I had to format it on my computer. After doing that, it then worked in the flipper. But uh, I'm going to show you how to format that uh, on the device itself. Just go to Settings, Storage, Format, and then you can hit Format, it'll warn you. But if you are having any trouble formatting it on the flipper, just do it on your computer and you should be okay. And also, they want to say that not all micro SD cards work, uh, SD cards work on the flipper. So just make sure you get a reliable one. And then it was formatted for FAT32. 
Oh, uh, also, factory reset is another good option if the SD card's not working. Uh, factory reset can also get it working for you. So let me know that all data will be saved on the SD card, which is fine. And no databases are found. That will be uh, the databases will be added when we update the firmware. Okay, now let's get the firmware updated. So what we're going to do is just plug in our USB-C port into the computer and just make sure the flipper is plugged in as well. And then you're going to want to go and download the Q Flipper app from the Flipper Zero website. Uh, you can also update it uh, via your phone's Bluetooth uh, app. But uh, I'm old school, so I like to update the manual old way. And then what you're going to do is you can choose from release, release candidate, or development. Um, release is the most stable, so that's the one I'm going to be choosing. But um, if you like messing around with uh, newer builds, you can actually choose ones uh, that are a little newer, but they may be unstable. Okay, so that's the firmware release that I'm doing there. And we're just going to let it update, and then we will be done with this video. Okay, so it's uploading right now, and it's almost done. Now it's going to uh, send that data to the Flipper Zero. And it's actually, you can actually take a look at the uh, Flipper Zero as well and see the progress. Okay, and we have successfully updated the firmware on the Flipper Zero. This thing is really cool. I cannot wait to now get my hands on it and start using it to mess with some of my own devices. I'll be sure to upload some more videos once I get my hands on this thing and actually start to, to use it. But with that said, I'm going to end the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.